Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm finally going to be showing you my desk tour at university. I very nearly didn't film this. I'm um, packing up a lot of my things to bring home. As I was packing it up, I was like, I never filmed a desk tour. I know that I needed to do it because I've been getting so many requests literally since I moved into my room, and I do love my desk space. Okay, so we're gonna start this side. I got this postcard, which my friend Blakeney gave me for Christmas, and then I got this whole wall of Polaroids. I do like to have pictures up especially at my university desks, of people back at home, my close friends. So then down here, I've got two of my products from Pumpkin Productivity. So um, the first one is the Daily Study Planner, which is, I use this pretty much every day. And then I've also got the Mini Master To-Do List. Then next, I've got this mini um, organizer. I'm gonna show you quickly what I've got inside this. So in the first one, this is stationery that I reach for on a daily basis. So this is just a quick overview of that first compartment. The main thing I keep in here is sticky notes. I love to have some page flags on hand. I've also got these ones from Tesco's and I've said it once, I'll say it again. Tesco's sticky notes are in my opinion the best ones other than post-it notes. Then in the second one, I have a few pens, scissors, Lamy ink cartridges. And then I've also got some brush pens. These are ones from Stationery Island. And then in the bottom, I love this one, this is my favourite. I've got all of my Stabilo fine liners. Um, I love these fine liners so much. I use them all the time, especially for my maps and writing my little notes. In this pot here, this pot is from India Jane. Uh, you get a lot of questions about it. It's actually a toothbrush holder. This is everything I keep in that pen pot. I've got my Stabilo Swing Cool highlighters in pastel shades. I've got three mild liners. These two gel pens from Paper Chase, these are my favourite pens, which aren't Lamy pens. I've got this lovely rollable pen from Kiki K, Safari Lamy pen in yellow, a dipping pen, and also a pencil. Then here I've got my clock, which I love to have on my desk. It's really great to have a clock so that you can track study sessions, make sure that you don't run over. Underneath that, I have a small stack of flashcards. So here I've got this lovely little vase of lavender. And at this point it is dry, like if I do this, it scatters everywhere. But this was actually picked in my garden at home and I brought it back with me and I just love the way this looks on my desk. Then here I've got three postcards. First one is of 221B Baker Street. This second one is a Picasso painting. And then this third one is a postcard that I got with a Miss Patina order and I just loved the aesthetic of it. Then here I've got this whiteboard pin board thing. I don't really know what the intention of this is. I haven't used it as a whiteboard. I decided to decorate the sides of this with photographs of some of my favorite people. Also, I uh, believe Polar Express ticket for some reason. So then on the desk itself I've got post-it notepad which I love so much and then here is my bullet journal and as you can see I've just decorated it with some lovely stickers like this one of Edgar Allan Poe and I use this every day so I like to keep this on my desk. The other thing I always like to keep on my desk is my laptop then I always have a mason jar with some water in it. So then we come around to this section I've got this lovely set of post-it notes from Paper Chase. Uh, this was from the Nordic Knights range a couple years ago which is my favourite range Paper Chase has ever done and it separates your to-do lists into urgent, don't forget, ideas, wish list to do and next week. Then behind here, this isn't always here, but at the moment it is. I've basically been using this as a in and out tray thing because it's got two slots. I've just got the poem that I'm working on here and then I've got some essays that I want to read here. It's just a really easy way for me to organize printouts of readings for this essay. And I love this folder so much. I've been searching for like this for ages. So then we come around here and this box here just connects to those star fairy lights. And on top of that, I have some hand sanitizer. I always like to keep hand sanitizer on my desk, whether I'm at home or at university um, or like studying in the library. I just think it's a good, useful thing to have. So then here I've got my lamp and that's basically because my bed is right next to my desk and I don't have a sideboard. So I wanted to plug this lamp in somewhere. It literally is the cutest lamp ever. I've also got these fake tea lights. Then lastly here on the desk, I have um, a mug of tea, which I always like to have on the go. Um, I've nearly finished this one and it's very good. Then we move on under the desk and it definitely is not as pretty. Um, you can see that my bin needs to be emptied too. There are lots of wires. This here is the charger for my printer, which is just 
plugged in under here with a large stack of copy paper on top. So this is where the rest of my stationery resides. I'll start at the back. I've got my master to-do list. Then I've got this meal tracker. Next, I've got my white lines paper notebook. Next, I've got my whiteboard. This little notebook, I just use this to plan to-do lists for exams. I love, love the design on this. Like, how pretty is that? Even though the phrase here doesn't make much sense. Here I've got my old bullet journal. I've just got this on hand still because I've got some lists that I'm still referring to in this. Next here I've got my Jackademic Planner uh, by Jack Edwards. This is amazing. This notebook here I use for planning YouTube videos. This is one that I use for planning like rough plans of academic work. Look how it opens. It's literally like the Marauder's Map. Then I've got my iPad and then here I've got two dipping pens. This first one is a Wizarding World official one. This is what the pen looks like. It's a tiny mini feather quill. And then I've also got my dipping pens in this Bortoletti box. Then here I've got my water bottle for more water. And I've also got my pencil case. This is my university pencil case and it's the one I take to campus every day. So then lastly, I've got this box which holds the rest of my stationery. Basically, these are things I don't reach for on a daily basis, but I do use. I like to use a sum sum as my whiteboard rubber because I have like five of these from when I was younger and they make really good whiteboard rubbers. Then I've got my page anchor. Basically you can use this to prop open your notebooks. This is very useful when taking notes from textbooks. Then next here I've got my Rapasco stapler and also my hole punch. This here is my university schedule which I've just got printed out. I've got my Apple pencil which I use to take notes sometimes on my iPad. Then here I've got my scientific calculator from school and I actually do use this more often than you'd think. I've got a print stick, paper clips. I've got some stamps here as well. These were from Waterstones. So there's this one, this one, and this one. I've got some washi tapes here, some spare ink at the bottom, also some sellotape, spare Lamy ink cartridges. And then in here, I just keep a load of spare sticky notes because I do use these quite a lot. So thank you so much for watching this very quick desk tour. I know that it was pretty rushed, but that's just because I was getting picked up by my dad literally in an hour or two's time and I still had to pack up loads of things. So I did have to rush it quite a bit, but I know loads of people wanted to see this. So I do hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.